Hello, this is Dr. George Brooks with the Aquaponic Victory Garden on the afternoon of November 27th, 2020. It's been a while since we've brought you up to speed on what, what we're doing, but I wanted to take a walk around and show you some new things. Today, as you know, is uh, what some would call Black Friday. A time when we normally go out and go shopping for Christmas. But this is a new year. The pandemic has done great damage to the economy. People are hungry. As you've seen the graphic, I'll show up. I'll throw up here in a few moments from the Washington Post, I do believe. There are states across the nation, cities across the nation, where there's a great deal of food insecurity. The other day here in Phoenix, I saw lines of cars around the block just to get a turkey. In years past, those in the line would have said, many in the line would have said, I have the money. I'll leave the turkeys for those who are more in need. This year they find that they are more in need, so they are now in the line. The mission here at Next Horizon is to grow more healthy food. That is, to empower more people to grow more healthy food in more places. That is the mission of the company, it's the mission of the Aquaponic Victory Garden. To fulfill this mission, this earlier this year we did an, an experiment. Lots of people want to do the old fashioned victory gardens, but they can't because they don't have the space. So can we do this in the 800 square, excuse me, 400 square feet that people often have available in their urban backyards? So we took this simple kitty pool, turned it into an aquaponic system, square, 70 square feet, 108 square feet total. 3.7 of these would fit into that 400 square feet. And we succeeded in growing 100, 271 pounds of food because before the 118 degree summer knocked off our production levels. If you multiply that times 3.7, we can actually produce that 800 pounds, actually 1,000 pounds of feed, so the experiment essentially worked. Now the question is, can we manage it better and make it easier to manage? You can see that it's basically designed like an old-fashioned raised bed garden, and so there's a very effective method of managing raised beds that lots of people know. That's the square foot garden method by Mel Bartholomew. If people already know how to raise food in the square foot garden method, it'd be a lot easier for them to raise the food here if square foot gardening can also be used for the plant portion. So now we've started again. We've planted out for the, for the fall and winter using a modification of that scenario where plants are planted somewhat according to his recommendations. Collard greens, as we all know, are big plants. You can see a few ones here in the background. They can quickly outgrow these rafts, but can we grow collard greens on two, the two per raft, one per square foot, or three per raft? What is the bright planting concentration? What is, how do you grow lettuce, onions, kale, peppers, all the things that you can grow using fewer starts, therefore starting using less money to get started while producing more food. That's the whole idea here. So we're working on that now to work out the details of managing team this closer to what people already know in a raised bed. Also, unlike, well, for our first time, we're raising catfish, not tilapia. Catfish are year round fish. Catfish, um, excuse me, tilapia will die in the winter. Catfish should live all year long, allowing us to have a better management of our long-term harvest. If we're lucky, maybe 20, at least 20, maybe 40 pounds. That would be good. Catfish are more disease prone, but they are more valuable because they give more meat, <coughs> excuse me, more meat than tilapia. So this is just an overview of what we're doing for the fall. Again, the whole idea is to empower people to grow more healthy food in more places. 
And if we're right, this will help that mission to be fulfilled. So please keep track of what we're doing. We look forward to hearing from you. Uh, please do press the subscribe button. Please do leave a comment and thought about what's happening. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Again, this is Dr. Doris Brooks here in Phoenix, Arizona with Next Horizon. Take care. Oh, and forgive me. Happy Thanksgiving. And may the holidays that are upcoming be equally, if not more joyous. Take care.